Hello, it's nice to see you again in another edition of VTV News on VTV International. My name is Hainam and here come the headlines. State President visits K-9 historical sites to pay tribute to late President Ho Chi Minh. And Northwest provinces hit by severe hailstorm. The state president Chen Dai Kuang made a visit and offered incense to late President Ho Chi Minh at the K-9 historical site this morning, April 10th. President Kuang pledged to study and follow President Ho Chi Minh's moral example, uh, continue to promote the innovation and development of the nation for the purpose of a strong, democratic, fair and civilized country. The historical relic site is located on Bavi Mountain, about 70 kilometers from downtown Hanoi to the west. In May 1957, President Ho Chi Minh decided to choose the site as a working place for the party central committee. Many decisions and instructions of the committee were issued here, contributing to the national reunification in 1975. Today, April 10th, nearly 3,000 youngsters in Hanoi have joined the Startup Festival of the capital city to look for opportunities and bright ideas from experts. This event also attracted successful startups and leaders of big companies who are willing to share their experience and enthusiasm in forum and talk shows. At the event, experts will deliver face-to-face -face consultations to youngsters in terms of business license application, taxes, financing, and export-import. On this occasion, an office, a hotline, and a website will be launched to support startups in dealing with legal issues. Many Vietnamese startups are choosing to start their journey in the IT field. However, not many startups have a clear plan for doing this. The success of Money Lover, a Vietnamese app built for finance management, along with its focus on customer, will help other Vietnamese startups set their goals better. Money Lover is a Vietnamese made app which helps users manage their finances effectively and easily. The app has received good reviews, and despite being a paid app, it was downloaded over 5 million times, both by users in Vietnam and other countries. 20% of our customers are from Vietnam. The rest are from other markets like Europe and the US. Not satisfied with the current achievements, Money Lover is setting bigger goals for the future. We are working hard to reach 10 million downloads in the upcoming year. So what are the secrets behind Money Lover's success? Three years ago, most financing apps on the market were hard to use, especially for users with little experience in finance management. And Money Lover came out at a result, developed by people who also know little about managing money. Because we were people who could not manage money well either, we needed something to help us with our finances. Afterwards, we decided to build an app to help other people too. Money Lover focuses on the needs of our customers and it is the biggest reason the app exists. A week after Money Lover came out, it was introduced on forums for Android developers and was well received. This input from users had helped Money Lover constantly improve itself by putting the users at the core of the product. Money Lever has become a model of success for other Vietnamese startups. In the future, the app will be linked to banks and feature card payment along with other options. Dalat strawberries are a specialty fruit of the area. However, farmers are still using old farming techniques to grow their plants, which is hindering the development of the sector. The supply of seedlings is another issue that needs to be dealt with. Let's find out more in the following report. This woman has planted strawberries for many years. However, she doesn't buy her strawberry seedlings. According to her, many other farmers in the region also don't buy their seedlings. I get the strawberry seedlings from my sister. I pick the plants that I think are developing well. According to the Lam Dong Plant Protection Department, only 30% of the strawberry farming areas get strawberry seedling from tissue cultural establishment. The other farmers get their seedlings by separating them from mother plants. However, 
By using this method, farmers cannot control the quality or manage the diseases of their seedlings. This will also cause degeneration if the seedlings are taken from older plants. While we recommend that they should cultivate only four to five seedling plants, farmers usually breed seven or eight seedlings from the mother plant. This will affect the quality of both the mother and seedling plants. In Lâm Đồng province, the area for growing strawberries is about 115 hectares. However, while farmers are recommended to take their seedlings from tissue cultural establishments, the number of seedlings available from this establishment is not enough. To meet the demand for seedlings, I think it's necessary to upgrade the tissue culture establishment. Farmers should follow the instruction of experts to maintain the quality of their strawberries, which are a famous specialty of Dala. According to the Lâm Đồng Plant Protection Department, Dalat strawberries grown both outside and in glass houses have to deal with various pests and diseases, including red spiders, black root rot and grey mould. Therefore, promoting the use of cultured seedlings is the only way to reduce crop diseases and enhance the quality of Dalat strawberries. Exotic Vietnam is an intriguing blend of many charms. This land is where all manner of stunning landscapes await like a visual feast, rivaled only by the beauty of its people and their abundantly rich tradition and culture. Here is where you can relive the past in richest color or live it up in the bright lights of the big city. With so much more to offer, Vietnam is simply unforgettable. You're watching VTV News. In the last few days, hailstorms and cyclones have hit Nghệ An and Lào Cai provinces. Hailstones as large as 2 cm with strong winds left holes in many roofs and damaged wide plots of vegetables. In Điện Biên province, thunderstorms also blew away and damaged the roofs of 86 households, injuring three people. The Committee of Natural Disasters Prevention and Rescue of Tuân Giáo District has urgently sent forces to help and support affected people, moving them to find shelter from the hailstorm hit area. Dr. Danielle Chung, an overseas Vietnamese in the United States, has recently held the University Medical Center in Ho Chi Minh City successfully apply bolitonium toxin to the treatment of patients with movement disorders and neurological diseases. So far, Dr. Chung has held seven international seminars, which attracted world-leading neurologists and uh, how Vietnamese doctors diagnose and treat Parkinson's disease and movement disorders, stroke, peripheral uh, nervous disease, epilepsy, and more. Dr. Chung is currently the chair of the Educational Committee for the International Association for Parkinsonism and Related Disorders. He has published more than 140 scientific publications and book chapters in neurology. 69 poor Vietnamese patients who suffered from damaged joints will now be able to walk again thanks to the support of Operation Walk Chicago. This is the third time that this U.S.-based charity organization has cooperated with Vietnamese doctors, exchanging know-how and giving free surgeries for Vietnamese patients. The operation were performed by local and American doctors from April the 2nd to 9th at the Army Central Hospital 108. After years of suffering from rheumatoid arthritis, a disease that results in painful deformity and immobility, Chen Van Tien has the chance to walk again with the help of doctors from Operation Walk Chicago. For me, this is a miracle. I'm so grateful to the doctors. I will try hard to practice walking and have a better life. Surgery was the last chance for these patients who were either unable to walk or faced difficulties doing so due to their injuries. Normally, joint replacement costs at least 3,500 US dollars, which is unaffordable for poor people. This charity program has made the patient's dreams come true. Thanks to Operation Walk, we helped a lot of poor patients in Vietnam who have severe damage to their knee and groin joints. 
This year, we have the highest number of patients. 61 patients and 83 joints have been operated on. More than 70 leading medical experts and experienced, skillful doctors have volunteered to join the program, helping people get back to their normal daily life. Vietnam is a wonderful place to do Operation Walk because the people are so uh, hardworking and good. We look for countries where uh, the doctors are improving their skills, so we not only help people but also help teach the doctors and nurses skills that they can help people after this. Our rewards are the smiles and happy tears of the patients who weren't able to walk for five or even ten years. We take every chance we have to support Vietnamese patients. Volunteers and humanitarian activities like this will be expanded nationwide in order to make a better life for poor patients. On April 9th, on the third day of the lunar month, the Fuzhou Festival 2016 was officially launched in Kim Thai Commune, Vũ Bản District, Nam Định Province. Fuzhou Festival is an annual ancient festival in the third lunar month, which reminds the people of Liu Hạnh Mother Goddess, a leading figure in the Mother Goddess's worship cult. In 2012 and 2013, the Ministry of Culture, Sports and Tourism recognized Chou Van, a worship singing rituals and Fuzhou festival, as national intangible cultural heritages. Meanwhile, Vũ Bản District is finalizing application procedures for the UNESCO recognition of the Vietnamese worship of mother goddesses as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity. This year, Fuzhou festival will run until April 14th. Now it's time for us to check out the weather updates. That's it for VTV News. Do log on to vtv4.vn and youtube.com slash vtv4go to rewatch our broadcast programs. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye for now.